Just been mentioning, of course, then the new Prime Minister, her first full day in charge today. She had the first PMQs. Did you see it? I did. I thought she did quite a good job, actually. Uh, of course, she was clashing with the Labour leader, Sakir Starmer. Uh, as I was saying, lots of it about kind of what the plan should look like when it comes to energy bills. Well, joining me now from Downing Street is our political editor, Darren McCaffrey. Darren, good evening to you. Um, I thought Liz Truss did quite well today. Uh, was that the kind of majority opinion? Yeah, I think it was in many regree, uh, degrees, uh, Michelle. I think she was pretty confident, pretty assured, wasn't she, at that dispatch box. Now, maybe that shouldn't come as a surprise. She has been or had been a cabinet minister for many, many years. It is a situation she's pretty used to. But in saying that, PMQs is a higher playing field, isn't it, than just ministerial questions. And she was pretty confident, pretty pithy in some of her answers. And she actually answered some of the questions, which is pretty novel in politics, particularly, it must be said, in the last couple of years with Boris Johnson, who had a tendency to go off on, uh, on tandems, left, right and uh, centre. In saying that, was it as charismatic, a bit duller than usual? Probably was. But then at the same time, actually, do people want to embrace a bit of dullness in politics in the sense that they want to focus on this issue of policy? And that really was at the heart of the differences within Prime Minister's Question Time today. Really fascinating to see see a proper ideological divide between Keir Starmer and Liz Truss. Now, not necessarily what the solution actually should be to this energy price crisis. We're going to hear the announcement of a price freeze on that cap tomorrow, which both Labour and the Conservative Party agree on. It's frankly the debate is who should pay for it. And at the moment, Labour is saying it should be a windfall tax, a further windfall tax on those energy companies, uh, whereas Liz Truss was pretty clear that she did not want to see taxation increase any further. She thought it might deter investment. She wants to see economic growth. But in the end, we are going to hear tomorrow about whether that means higher bills, potentially for you and I and everyone else, for years and years to come, to try and even out that curve this winter and maybe into next year, or whether it's simply done by a lot more borrowing which in some ways some would accuse uh, the Prime Minister of not being terribly uh, conservative. But in the end, as I say, it was a proper ideological debate. Liz Truss put in a pretty strong performance. Uh, lots of Tory MPs were pretty happy with her uh, taking selfies as she was leaving uh, the chamber. A few bits of other information today, though. Interestingly, she's carried on appointing ministers of state, junior ministers in the various government departments as she try and get government rearing to go again. And that included uh, some Rishi Sunak supporters after many critics accused her of surrounding herself with loyalists in the cabinet uh, yesterday. And also in the last couple of minutes, we just had word from Buckingham Palace, uh, Michelle, saying that the meeting that was meant to take place tonight between, remotely obviously, between Liz Truss and the Queen for the Privy Council has been postponed after doctors uh, said that the Queen should uh, rest. So uh, that is a, a bit of business that's not going to happen tonight, clearly in the medical advice of the royal family's uh, doctors. Uh, but as for Liz Truss, all the focus now will be on tomorrow and that big announcement in Parliament on trying to tackle those insanely high energy prices going into the autumn and winter.